Vanessa. And we are late to the party and Sony has been gracious enough to send us their Columbia Classics 4K Ultimate Box Set. Yes, so they have a wide variety of different movies in there going from your old classics to some modern classics. Classics, classics to the more newer classical fare. Yes. So let's open this up and see what they have in store for us for their 4K collection. Yes. Now I would say one of my uh, Columbia classics would definitely be Ghostbusters, but it looks like we've got uh, six films uh, available in this box set. So I like this box because it has the old school Columbia logo. Yes, there's been many iterations of the logo from the past to the present. Uh, but yeah, Columbia, TriStar, I mean, they stand out when it comes to uh, films that I grew up with, that I enjoyed, uh, as well as some of the older films that I ended up being late to the party to, and now we own them in 4K and for the first time on 4K. Yes. And the box is the only way that you can actually get this. Yes, so this is out now. It retails for around $110, uh, normally around $160, but it's on sale right now, so you guys can pick this up. Uh, Worth it. Yeah, definitely, especially when Sony sends it to you. So <laughs> let's open this up and see uh, what the setup's like. <laughs> Seriously, that's so badass. I love it. Look at that. So they got the movies on the side there, and then in the middle, there is a booklet. So a hard cover, hard bound book. So this book is definitely a great supplement because I always love thumbing through behind the scenes uh, of movies, books, the, just the, the movie books, the photo books, the story books, uh, and the behind the scenes books because we right. didn't have YouTube to go watch that stuff. We uh -huh. had the library to go and pick up go, all the books. You had to go and pick up the books. And this one is also has uh, uh, written by a film historian by the name of Julie Kurgo. So she kind of goes in and she talks about all of the different movies in this set. Uh, for you, which is uh, interesting because you know like you said before now you can watch it about right. the movies But like you said back in the day you had to go and buy the books Perfectly ones that I would buy are the ones from Leonard, Mal Leonard Malton of course uh, But even better because there's pictures you always love mo books with pictures in it So it's always nice to kind of take a look and see what has come before and I do love how just on the inside of the actual book they have all the quotes from the movies printed on the inside. Show me the money! Show me the money! It's right there. <laughs> Very famous quotes coming from these movies, but let's take a look at the movies themselves. So we'll start on your end first. Yeah, so on my end here first, I have Mr. Smith goes to Washington. And they're really going for like the gold type lettering, the gold glossiness on the outside of the casing. And then that one too, you're going with the uh, black and gold font on the actual cover and the cover of the actual Blu-ray disc itself. So I'm wondering too if that's how all of them are going to be. Being that this is a black and white movie, you know, are they going to go this way or is it going to be color all the way through? Makes sense. I mean, I do like them keeping the same color tone between all of them because right. it makes it so uniform, I guess. Right. It makes it, it's nicer. So Mr. Smith Goes to Washington received a total of 11 nominations at the Oscars in 1939, but only going home with one, which was Best Writing in Original Story. James Stewart. I mean, he's just got a way of the, just Stewart. how he delivers his <laughs> lines. And he's so like passionate in this one because, you know, I've seen this one around so much, but it's just one that I never actually put Sat on. Sat down and watched. So now we get to, and we get to do it in Ultra HD 4K. So it has been remastered for that. So that should be nice. Yep. And the first one on my side is Gandhi. So I remember when this movie came out, and as you can see, it's actually, they're keeping the color from like the poster, the original poster uh, of Gandhi, because I remember it so well when it came out. Uh, Richard Attenborough, what we got? Oh, we got the codes. We got the digital codes you for You also these get digital too. copies of this movie. That's pretty well. cool too. Uh, but yeah, I, I remember when this movie hit the scene, I remember everybody talking about Ben Kingsley, Sir Ben Kingsley. I remember everyone talking about Richard Attenborough, Lord Richard Attenborough, rest in peace John Hammond, uh, because this movie was a powerhouse when it came out. 
everybody was talking about it. Uh, but I was a little kid, and this one ended up winning eight Academy Awards from Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor. There was across the board, this movie dominated. Now, it's crazy because if you think about it too, I don't know if they could get away with making a movie like this, having Sir Ben Kingsley uh, playing Mahatma Gandhi. So I, it's, it's crazy. It's weird to look back something as successful as this and well done. Nowadays, I think it would not fly, and I think it should not fly. So I think right. we could have found an amazing Indian actor to pull that off, right. but back then, we are still living in the dark ages up here, so um, I'm excited to relive Gandhi once again. To go back and watch it. Oh, yeah. In the crisps of 4K. Right. So the second one on my side is definitely a classic, for sure, and definitely probably a favorite for a lot of people, and that is Lawrence of Arabia. It was nominated for 10 Oscars, but only won seven of them, which isn't bad. Only. <laughs> only seven out of seven. ten ain't bad. <laughs> Dominated. We did a Better Late Than Ever uh, in, in the very beginning stages of Better Late Than Ever, and we hadn't seen Lawrence of Arabia, but we watched the trailer and gave our thoughts just based on the trailer. Right. A lot of people picking us apart because how could you do any sort of review without watching this masterpiece and this one I guess has not been released on 4k and this is how it's released on 4k now making that's how they new. get you they're like you right. want it on 4k you got to get the whole spew <laughs> yeah. of other movies as well <laughs> you got to pick up all our other classics but you've got Lawrence of Arabia which is beloved across so many cinephiles right uh, and now we have it in 4k I'm sure they'll release and it eventually in 4k eventually maybe they'll right. do its own box set which it, I guess it, it's definitely warranted for Lawrence of Arabia however right. we have it on 4k now now those hey. Peter O'Toole's piercing eyes are just I gonna know. cut through the screen every time every time <laughs> I watch the trailer and stuff like too I'm just like god his eyes yeah. I, like, they're so blinding. They just glisten. <laughs> and they're going to be even more crisp in 4K. So next on my end, we've got one that oh, I love. Every single time it is on, I watch it beginning to end. It's one of those movies that if it is on, I'll finish it from wherever it started. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Lord Petty, uh, directed by Penny Marshall. Amazingly well done, whether it's the music so or the cinematography. Not nominated for anything. Um, but Which this, is a shame. It is. A league of their own. Uh, it's funny because when it came to picking modern classics for this collection, uh, Columbia put it out there, hey, we want to know what you guys want. And 30,000 people did respond, and overwhelmingly, number one was... A League, a League of, of Their, their own. own. Which is amazing because why, of course, I feel like it, that was an awesome opportunity for them to do. Sure. Uh, because, yes, you have your classics that they picked that they put in here because, you know, they won so many awards um, and they were critically acclaimed for, for many various reasons for the movie. But to have it go out there and people pick what modern classics they love right and the fact that a league of their own was number one blows my mind but i get it because i love a league of their own when i was a kid i would watch that movie over and over and over and it was so weird it was just one of those movies that you wouldn't think that a little kid would watch over and over again because it's about I get it. It's about baseball. It's about you know these women going and playing a league of their own. Uh, I I just I loved it. It, so it, it much. it's captivating yes. in uh, more ways than one. And uh, yeah, seeing Marla Hooch in 4K, I'm looking forward to it. But, yeah, League of Their Own, it's a good addition to the Now collection. we have it on Blu-ray, but now we have it on 4K too. Right. So the third and final movie that's on my side of things I have here, and it does star a, a very talented <laughs> actor in Peter Sellers, and that is... Uh, Dr. Strangelove. Or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. They were nominated for four Academy Awards. Uh, just the range of different characters that he plays in this movie right. just goes to show how much of a range that he actually had. Of course. And I, I feel like that reason in particular was probably a no-brainer for them to put it in the box. Yeah, of course. Uh, for it. Yeah. It, probably it, the reason why. It transcends the Stanley movie Kubrick itself. Well. And it's Kubrick. And you got <laughs> Slim Pickens with a very uh, memorable moment in the movie. And he gets on top of it and starts writing it. <laughs> and he's waving his hand in the air. But yes, Dr. Just Strangelove. Like back. You can't really see it, but it's right. there. Oh, he's writing it in the back? Yeah. They got him writing it. That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't even look at the backs of the other ones. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. They got Gandhi on the back of this one. You got Jimmy Dugan talking to the girls on the back of A League of Their Own. But, yeah, that's a, I love it. Slim Pickens getting a little bit of love there. Yeah, on his way down. But, <laughs> yeah, this one's definitely a winner in, in my book. So I'm looking forward to watching it in 4K, course, too, to yeah. see how, uh, how it's been restored. Of course, yeah. Because you always, when you watch these movies, you have that ability. Uh, just the technology today right. to be able to go back and restore these movies to kind of that uh, uh, renaissance of when they came out too sure. is awesome. So the fact that they can do these with these movies, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how um, amazing they did. And for my end, the final movie, uh, this one, it kind of kind of a toss up. This one. For me, felt kind of weird when you ended up putting them all together next to each other. But out of all those people that responded to get their top favorite modern classics into this box, number two, right after A League of Their Own, was Jerry Maguire. On the back, you've got Renee Zellweger, Breakout. Renee ended up becoming a heavy hitter in cinema, just won another Oscar recently, but this one was a huge success. I remember everybody talking about this, loving this movie as well, when it came out. Saw right. at the drive-in. I mean, there are certain things about the movie as well that you stick with you today, especially right. quotes from the movie, of like, course. show me the money. Um, but one that in particular that everybody kind of knows, like, even if you've never seen the movie, you right. know that this is from that movie, and it's that you had me at hello. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. The music, the little kid, uh, human head weighs eight pounds. I mean, it definitely was uh, yeah. one of those films to come out, and there were just so many things right that Cameron Crowe got in this film. And then he ended up getting Cuba Gooding Jr., getting his Oscar out of that. Tom Cruise doing what he does best when it comes to just bringing an all-star performance and not being the one at the forefront saying, hey, look at me. Like this one brought so many amazing characters to the fold. Uh, and Tom Cruise was part of it. Oscar nominated as well. Right. Uh, did not win, but was Oscar nominated for Jerry Maguire. But yeah, this one, I could see why they would put it in here. Uh, and it was uh, a, a good addition. Because honestly, I probably wouldn't have bought Jerry Maguire on its own. But putting it in here, I would love to go back and watch Jerry Maguire because of all the things that they got right with this movie. Right. So there you have it. Those are the six movies that you get in this collection. If any one of these movies are something that you want, especially for 4K, um, right. then I... I say it's a good deal. I think that you definitely would go for it because, you know, like you said, you got your modern classes and then you got your classic classics. Right. So, um, it is great. Uh, Look at that. I love that Columbia image on there. <laughs> and then, of course, the different films, too, in a kind of a collage on the insides as well. But Yeah. And, it, and just the way that it opens up, too, it just feels like, you know, like the curtains are coming out and they're opening up for you and you're ready go. for you to enjoy the movie but either way thank you guys for watching our unboxing for columbia's hd collection are you guys gonna get it let us know down in the comments below out of all these movies which one are you most excited about getting on 4k i already know it's gonna be lawrence of arabia because people are raving about it being on 4k now so yes. um you can also like and subscribe and do the thing on our facebook twitter tumblr instagram stardust all the social networking gin joints you know where they are kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, Columbia, for sending us this box set. Yes. We appreciate you guys so much. Send us more stuff. We'll open it up and talk about it. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.